Okay, so I bet you've heard of DLSS as well as ray tracing. It is almost 2021, so how do you think these two NVIDIA tech fare as of now? Let's do some performance testing with Cyberpunk 2077 as well as this. MSI RTX 3080 Supreme X. First things first, thank you MSI International as well as NVIDIA Singapore for sponsoring this video as well as this MSI RTX 3080 Supreme X. If you like this video as well as enjoy our content, make sure to smash the subscribe button as well as the 100% bell. Together with this MSI RTX 3080 Supreme, we also have an AMD Ryzen 9 5900X to bring out the best of this card. So these are also the other parts that we're going to use for the test. And let's now go on to some little explanation on the ISS and ray tracing as well as some awesome Cyberpunk 2077 RTX on-off gameplay. So now we come to the part as to what does NVIDIA RTX real-time ray tracing as well as their DLSS or deep learning super sampling. Where does it come into play? Now the first half of it, the real-time ray tracing can be found in quite a couple of games right now, especially things like Battlefield 5, Wolfenstein Youngblood, and the one that we're going to feature, which is uh, Cyberpunk 2077. Now real-time ray tracing, what it overall is supposed to give you is a is much better visual experience, especially when it comes to things such as lighting and shadow occlusion that kind of thing. Due to the much higher computational requirements required for this, it tends to give you quite a fair bit of a performance hit, as you will see later in our videos itself. So how do you recover back some of this performance? Now that is where the second part comes in, which is DLSS or Deep Learning Super Sampling. Now the traditional form in a game is that you run a game at 1080p and you set the render resolution at 1080p. So what it renders at is what you're going to see on your screen. Now, there are ways in certain games where you can actually improve your performance by making the render resolution different from your display resolution itself. So let's say, for example, your screen is 1080p, but you set the game to render at 720p. Now, obviously, in this method, when you stretch it up and you try to upscale it, there's going to be quite a fair bit of uh, visual degradation in terms of the quality. So what DLSS aims to do is that it uses the deep learning capabilities of the specialized uh, tensor cores in the RTX GPUs to sort of like fill in the gaps so that while you are rendering at a lower resolution of 720p, when you upscale it to 1080p, the visual quality is still very much there as though you were rendering at 1080p. The real-time ray tracing will take some of the FPS away. The DLSS is there to recover some of it back. So it's sort of like you get a case of you get to have your cake and you get to eat it as well. So enough talking on this. Let's get into how it actually works. Okay, so now for a demonstration for ray tracing in action. So we are taking this scene from the Badlands in Cyberpunk 2077. So right, so this is with uh, ray tracing as well as DLSS turned off. So watch the campfire. So now we're hovering at about 90 something FPS on average, so let's come to here. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the ray tracing on. So ray tracing on, reflection shadow and lighting is set to ultra. Now the one thing you will notice here is that the flames look a little bit more 3D, a little bit more realistic like how a campfire would actually look like in real life. You can see here we have taken quite a bit of a performance hit here from 90 90 FPS on average, we have gone down to 60. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to enable the DLSS. I will switch it to quality setting. Right, so as you can see, I have recovered back some of the FPS itself. So from about 60, I've gone back up to about 80. So the overall performance hit now with RTX as well as DLSS turned on versus both being turned off is that we are getting an average of maybe about 20% uh, performance hit in terms of FPS. But as you can see, the overall result is that you get a much better experience here. The flames look better, the lighting looks better, which is a much better visual experience overall.
performance you're getting at 1080p with this RTX 3080. The LSS definitely helps a lot with your gameplay if you have ray tracing turned on. Right Gordon? Yes it does. I mean as you can see from it, the performance hit that was taken when you turn on ray tracing, even though you get a much better experience visual wise. Yes. You kind of recover back quite a fair bit of that hit by the use of the LSS. Yes. As you can see, overall, while the performance hit is still there, overall it's like what? 20%? 20% about there. Overall, as a gamer, I feel that 20% hit is very, very much worth it. Mm. It takes the whole game visually-wise to a whole new level itself. Yes. It becomes from a... Not so playable. I won't say not so playable, I'll say it's visually wise it becomes from a nice looking game to a rather spectacular looking game. Ah yes. yes. Yes it does, that's the yeah. word to look at. Point of note, just a reminder that we're running at 1080p. So if your guys are running at 1440p or even 4K, you may be getting different performance numbers as us. So make sure to take care of that when you are running games at such resolutions. Yes. Anyway, this card will try to do its best to push out if you're running a 4K. Yeah, I think we can. When we get our hands on a 4K monitor, maybe we'll do a second video on that one. Yep. Yeah, make sure if you're playing Cyberpunk 27, always turn on DRSS, help your game a lot. Thank you again to Media Singapore as well as MSI for sponsoring this video. So if you like this video, drop us a like and write down in the comments. Are you still playing Cyberpunk 2077? <laughs> 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 I am. <laughs> I am. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm grinding my character through now. I've gone through so many side missions. Yeah. I forgot the story mode. <laughs> yeah. We have a 5700 XT here, a 1070 Ti here. So don't complain. This <laughs> card is not for me to use, okay? <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, so once again, it's getting really late for us. So uh, good night and goodbye to you all.